In a high pressure situation, it's essential to have high performance equipment. Goodwin International manufactures key components for the oil and gas industry and has invested in next generation technology and engineering talent. Paul Brennan checked out its latest offering, a precision axial valve that's both effective and cost efficient. First opened as a foundry in 1883, Goodwin makes large-scale precision engineered parts for the oil and gas industry. It's based in the manufacturing town of Stoke-on-Trent, an area long associated with Charles Darwin. He married a Wedgwood from the pottery fame. Darwin, of course, wrote his Origin of Species, and to some extent that gives us a clue as to what's enabled us to survive, really, because it's not the, the most intelligent, uh, it, it's not the strongest, it's those that are able to adapt to the environment best uh, and uh, measure what's needed uh, for the future changing conditions. And I believe that's what we are good at and what we do here. This is demonstrated in the new axial isolation and control valves, seen as a real game changer. The isolation valve will tend to be used in HIPS applications and emergency shutdown applications and they're generally neat in places where you need a very high integrity valve with long life and fast response times. The control valve uh, would tend to be used in anti-surge applications and places where you need extra high capacity per inch. Basically it's a market that's dominated by one company at the present time so we've taken the concept of that valve but totally redesigned it, redeveloped it in-house, so it's got innovative and unique features built into it. And of course, at the end of the day, you've still got to be competitive. So uh, again, we're introducing manufacturing efficiencies into the product, which the new design lends itself to. Another breakthrough has been improving the properties of super duplex steel. Through painstaking research and testing, Goodwin has extended the operating range of super duplex materials by enhancing corrosion resistance and increasing low temperature impact properties. The corrosion resistance will be very useful for hot countries where pipeline temperatures are greater than 40 degrees C. The impact properties, the low temperature impact properties, great for Arctic exploration, um, so that's real of interest. Also the section sizes that we can now produce the material, never previously been able to produce those section sizes and achieve the mechanical properties. This impressive radiography chamber is one of only a handful in the world. These type of facilities are very fast, so with conventional radiography the penetration power is very low, so this will do a radiograph in a tenth of the time. By investing heavily in R&D, Goodwin has an enviable reputation for quality and reliability. We make high integrity components here and we have all the facilities on one site. So all of the processes and the testing is all within our own Goodwin control, if you like. And that's very important so we can keep control of the parameters those important processes and also the testing of the material all comes under the same site umbrella. To go forward it's essential that we can observe what is around us, uh, we can measure our, our performance uh, and then as a result of those two through, through hard work and persistence uh, we can uh, innovate. Indeed Goodwin runs its own four-year apprenticeship programme offering both in-house and external training and mentoring. As soon as I started here I was given different opportunities on different sectors of the shop floor where I found machining as my desired position and since then I was able to go into different machines and try various jobs, various sizes of machines with the back of the company and the management. Through that I was able to go on to do my level 3 diploma and then progress with my HNC and HND also whilst doing my machining work in the company. Blending expertise and heritage with innovation and technology, Goodwin remains a leading light in the oil and gas industry.